Okay, so I'm going to go through step by step what I've done so far to try to flash this tiny GV8 board. Right here, again, I'm sorry about the screen capture. I'm using a phone because I can't go back and forth between the board to show you what's going on um, and its bootloader issue. Anyways, you can see that there's no COM ports populated here on the board. And that's because the tiny G is not plugged in. So let's plug it in. And you'll see that the LEDs come on. There's our motor LEDs, our blue LED, no blue smoke. <laughs> and uh, you'll see that PWM spindle LEDs lit for some reason. And I'm not sure why that is, but it is. All right. So if we come back over here to our device manager, all right, you'll see that COM ports is now up. And if we open up our COM port, you'll see that we have a USB serial port, which is COM9. That is the tiny G, COM9. All right, so let's drop that down. The next challenge people have is when they download the hex file that you want to update with, they grab the HTML and not the actual hex. So there's the hex file opened up in Notepad. You can see that it's binary. All right, so we've got the right file. We're not trying to upload HTML. Another thing is you need to use AVR Dude, and you can see that I have AVR Dude EXE. And this is the uh, directory that it's actually installed in. It's part of the Arduino IDE. It's in the bin folder. Cool, so that we have AVR Dude. And down at the bottom, I have got the Tiny G Edge 440.14 hex in the same directory. So all this stuff should be able to talk to each other. So the next challenge would be to make sure that you have AVR Dude actually functioning. So you launch your command prompt. And if you're missing DLLs or got some conflict issues, you won't be able to run the AVR dude. In order to run the executable, you just change directory until you get to the right directory, which happens to be that bin. And then you type in AVR dude, which is the executable file, and it will give you all the options for AVR dude. So you can see that in the command prompt, I'm able to launch AVR dude. So I've got a lot of the obstacles out of the way. However, when I try to run this command, which is the command to tell it to program um, on Windows to push the code, the binary to the board, AVR dude, and it calls to the processor, which is the 192A3, and then gives another command, the AVR command, and then uh, the baud rate, and then the COM port, and then it's saying flash with uh, the tiny G edge 440 hex. So this is the command you'll actually use when you're inside the correct directory, which you can see at this bottom one. We're in the correct directory where AVR dude lives. And then we push that command, which starts with that minus P. All right. So all that's in there. So the only thing left to do is to put the tiny G in bootloader mode. In order to do that, you hit the reset button. So I hit the reset button, and I never get any um, SP, let me read what it is, SPDIR LED, which is the second one in. That should be flashing right now. And then you have three seconds in which to run the command. So I'm just going to hit the board. Let me reset again here. Just to make sure. So I hit reset and then I'm going to come over here, hit enter, and bang, we get this can't open config file, no such directory, and error reading system wide configuration file. I don't know if that's something I have wrong on my system or it's because we're not getting into bootloader mode on the Tiny G. Any helpful input you may have or point out things that I might be doing wrong? would be very appreciated, very much appreciated. Uh, thanks, guys.